All right, let's do this. Boom. Here we are. Good morning. It's a very early, very cold morning here in Melbourne today. Uh, horrible and rainy. Usually I'd wake up and go for a walk. Uh, today, none of that. It's time to stay inside and write some code. I love it. I love it. Uh, thank you, Hoss00312, for a very early host in the show. Uh, I, I hugely, hugely appreciate a bit of early love here as we get started. All right, so... Uh, I don't even think... I don't even think I've started Docker yet. Uh, you know, perfect. All right, so we have Docker running. Uh, let's... That'll be fine. Uh... Need to, need to set up a few other things quickly. We're going to go into our workspace here. So the name of the game today is going to be uh, a little bit more 3D math, but a, a bit more fun 3D math than last time. Uh, actually, we should, we should start things off by showing what's currently running. That would be a really good idea. So uh, we can run this. Head over to PCSX2. And we've got a cube that moves around. We've got some real 3D math projecting it into 3D space. We can move it back and forward into the screen, which is lovely. And we can also pan the camera left and right. Uh, but the camera stays focused on 0, 0, 0. So as it moves, the, the coloration is a little bit messed up. But as it moves, um, oh dear. So it looks like maybe our depth is not quite right here. But uh, we, we kind of expect the cube to get you know, thinner. Uh, as we move the camera away, but but keep it pointed at it. So this all looks pretty much right so far. And I have theories about why the color is getting so messed up. Um, but if we're kind of, you know, perfectly centered here, the color is fine. And also our, our cube is being colored by how deep it is on the screen. Um, that depth is kind of, you know, like absolute PlayStation 2 depth. So this is all beautiful right now. Um, we've got something very simple working and today's goal is to actually move our camera around. So, you know, kind of like a first person uh, shooter style camera. We'll be able to move uh, independently from the rotation of the camera at first and then eventually we're going to move according to the direction the camera is facing. So we're going to be doing some, uh, some cross product. We're going to be, you know, working out the forward vector of the camera. I'll draw some fun pictures of this in a minute. For now, let's just, uh, first off, PlayStation 2. Uh, I've got this... What did I... Did I call it R? Did I call it dot R? Awesome. So uh, I've got this simple bash script set up. This is just going to run this command and it's going to, every time I hit enter, it's going to rerun it. And this just saves me having to type in my sudo password all the time because I'm using Docker. I don't know if there's a better practice way to set up Docker where I don't have to run it as sudo all the time. I believe that what I'm doing is kind of okay. Um, we'll, we'll just do with that. We'll just do with that. So beautiful. Uh, let's start. Make clean. Oh, I have I have got a few little sneaky changes in from last stream as well. So we need a new branch. Uh, what's the date today? Twenty twenty one. It is August the 29th, Almost at the end of the month. Crazy. It also means it's about a month since I did my first stream. I think it was what? Well, yeah, late. Did I say twenty nine? I said twenty nine. Uh, late July, I started programming this. So, so a very slow and very tedious month, but we're starting to see some real results. Um, I want to be careful. Yeah, okay. I, ju I just played around with a few little things here. Oh, this is actually from last stream. I should have I should have committed this to the other branch. Um, I think this was as well. Okay, hold on. We're, we're going to go back. Uh, Oh, eight. Uh, what did I call it? Twenty twenty-three. That. Here we go. Get. Oh, just got to do a little bit of housekeeping. I want to keep this nice and tidy. I make file. Uh, th those are a few fun changes I've been playing with off stream, and we'll we'll get to that in a little bit. Okay. And then stream. Uh, 0829. Perfect. Okay, so now we're back on today. Um, so the first thing we want to do, the first thing we're actually going to do, uh, we DevOps now Westy. <laughs> we, this is this is beautiful. I, I'm really actually excited at some point to set up GitHub Actions for building this because it's all building in a Docker image. So like, why not uh, have 
a GitHub pipeline that spits out a PlayStation 2 binary every every time I merge into the master branch or whatever. Like, that would be amazing, right? I want to get linters. Um, I want to get, you know, some actual proper quality control. We modernize this PlayStation 2 development pipeline. Who's doing approval? Oh, it's me all the way down. Um, you know, it's it's I'm, I'm shaking my own hand, I guess. Cool. So if we go into our main file, um, one thing I want to do, rather than using... Uh, D-pad buttons. I want to actually swap this to use the joystick. So uh, I've got to remember how I actually set this up. If we go over into our pad, uh, joysticks, we have four joystick axes. And yeah, so joy, axis, joysticks. There we go. Cool. So I, I use this joy axis value. Uh, Function, we have an axis left x. So that's what we're going to grab into first. So main, uh, let's come back up. I really should move some of this stuff to another file. It's a little bit tedious, just like pushing my way around through it all the time. Uh, so dx, well, let's int dx. Instead of this, we'll, we'll say joy, joy axis value. And this is going to be axis left x. This should give me something in the range of, I actually think it's in the range of 0 to 255, so uh, we need to normalize this. So I guess we subtract 128 and then divide by 128. That'll give us our, our dx. Um, and actually this is going to be a float now, right? Because we're now in the wonderful world of no longer just having integers here. Uh, so float dx Let's, I, I think this is the scale that it's on. I'm not 100% sure. We'll, uh, we'll do this for now and see how we go. So, and then if I divide this by 128.0f, this should give me what I want. Uh, let's just, let's just compile it and run for now. And you're happy with that? Nothing has gone wrong. Okay, something has gone wrong. Um, oh, because, because... I, I committed some things to a different branch before I branched, so uh, I, I just I need to merge I need to merge with the branch I, I uh, just committed those files into. I've been a bit silly, I've been a bit silly. Stream twenty twenty one oh eight twenty three, and then of course there's going to be some really dumb conflict. Uh, where are we? Oh sorry, um, I need to commit first. Oh, and no conflict, no conflict. Too easy. Oh, okay. Okay, we're, we're moving. We're moving uh, faster than we wanted. So something has gone wrong here. We're not centered around zero. Um, let's, let's review. Hello? Um, hello? Something's, something strange has happened to my keyboard. Um, There we go. Uh, my, I've got a 60% keyboard and it's got a couple of like different layers and modes and sometimes if you press function and control like something really weird happens. So I need to be quicker. I need to be much quicker. Um, okay, so it, it thinks I'm holding the joystick down when I'm not. Let me, I actually didn't have the analog button on so maybe that's impacting it. No, okay. I don't know what scale we're, we're working on here. Um, I think I need to come into draw I need to maybe, maybe quieten down some of these uh, these logs, because <laughs> this is a lot of info being logged out right now. And I actually think our matrices are good for the time being. Um, I think I need to divide this by pos three at some point. Let me just leave a marker here while I think of it. Uh, D project, beautiful. And let's get rid of this log. Cool. Now make run. Uh, perfect. Okay, so now the only spam we're getting is from main, and we can really quieten this down as well. We, we don't actually need these uh, being spammed out all the time anymore. And this is, a, this is a bit of a janky way of working for now, but it'll be good enough. And yeah, so beautiful. Now we don't have uh, just absolute nonsense being spammed all the time. You can see that 
uh, there is something very odd happening with how we're, we're working with space. You know, if we keep trying to draw this cube as it gets further and further away from our camera, um, our vector math basically stops making sense. So this is a problem. This is definitely a problem. We need to do uh, actual clipping, right, against what, what could be visible. And the PlayStation 2 really does not like drawing things out of bounds. So you get all kinds of nonsense. I imagine this would actually crash on real hardware. Um, if only we could we could verify this on real hardware easily in the stream. That would be uh, that would be really exciting. Um, all right, so, 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 I think what we need to do, uh, let's go car joy X. We're just going to print this out to the screen just so we actually know what kind of data we're working with here. Uh, and let's info... So this should be neutral, um, or maybe actually this this controller does have a bit of a tendency to drift a little bit, like the left stick. So maybe it's actually just not centered, and that's our problem. If we see a number very close to one hundred and twenty-eight, then we know that it's probably just a dead zone issue, and we can just include some like you know some threshold where if our dx is smaller than some value, we just ignore it. Um, but I'm expecting that actually is not the case. Zero. Ah, oh, so it's... Hold on. Uh, I'm... I'm treating this as an unsigned number. It's actually signed. So what if I go unsigned? Right, I think this makes more sense than treating it as a signed character. I think this math is easier. Um, or I guess we just divide it by 128, right? So... Okay, well, no, let's... let's, let's Forget, forgo the division, uh, we will just divide. Uh, the subtraction, sorry. We're going to keep the division. Oh yeah, we, we need to actually clean up what we were doing. Um, where are we? I really need to clean up these uh, these files. <laughs> uh, that, I did not actually get the change in. I did not rebuild. Here we go. Okay, so... Our division is clamping it down to nothing. Uh, this is because I'm not doing floating point division properly. Uh, I think maybe I just have to like multiply this by 1.0 f and we should be good. Uh, I need to rebuild it. Holy crap. What's, what's going on? What's going on? And nothing. Beautiful. I mean, look, this gives us something to work with at least. Um, okay, I, w I was a little bit hasty in getting rid of my uh, my printing. So actually, and again, what I should really be doing here, I should actually be wiggling the stick and making sure. So so we're gonna we're gonna go back in time. Uh, we're gonna go back in time. Okay, rebuild, run. Now, if I come over here. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. So nothing is actually registering on this joystick right now. It could be possible that my PCSX2 config is wrong. Um, that That is definitely worth checking. Because it would be really silly to spend it. Yeah, look at this. It's undefined. Um, so up. Uh, gamepad, gamepad configuration? Is this what I... Wait, hold on. Do I... Do I set this up here? God, this is a new interface, hey. Um, I actually can't... Oh, I think there's some config stuff you can't do while it's running, maybe? Or can I just not... Hello? Okay, well, this is odd. Um, let us... Well, hold on, let, let's just, like, PCSX2, uh, config, gamepad settings. Can we just... Uh, weird, left joystick, gamepad configuration? Twin USB joystick, joystick sensitivity. See, is this what I want? I don't know, I thought you had to, like, set it up. Um. Oh god, can I not get out of this menu? <laughs> can I, how do I? I, I think this really does not like our, um, 
in my window manager. I think it wants to like have a have a close button here. I'm gonna have to just Oh no. Um Actually I can just P kill PCSX2. Yeah. Nice. Um Okay, well, let's try that again. That's annoying that it doesn't seem to like my analog stick. And I'm pretty sure you don't set it here, right? Yeah. Um, so what if I just make some dummy values and go from there? It also probably means that what I was doing before was actually right. Um, if I run now... Still doesn't like it. Still doesn't like it. That's really annoying. Um, I don't know if this is a config issue or a me issue. What would be really good, right? If I had just some way of, um, some way of verifying on hardware. Um, I'm hinting at something. I'm hinting at something. So joy axis. And then if I look at pad, it looks like I should be, should be getting it. That's so annoying. Okay. Bear with me for one second. Uh, I'm gonna do something cool, I promise. This is, it's gonna be worth waiting for. Um, it's gonna be huge, it's gonna be huge. One, I need one second to, to fiddle with some cables. All right, well, look at this. Isn't this funny? Uh, let's just wiggle this around a bit so you can see. Uh, look, this isn't perfectly in frame. I think that's about as well as we're going to be able to do. So this isn't going to be perfect right now. Um, I'm, I'm reluctant to rotate my camera. Uh, I spent a long time just finding the perfect way for it to line up to my beautiful face. Um, this will have to do. This will have to do. Okay, so... I'm going to fiddle with some things just for a second more. Uh, I don't have enough power cables. Or rather, I don't have enough power points. So uh, we're kind of limited. So I have to get rid of my stream preview to do this. But yeah, if you haven't guessed, this is, this is my trusty old uh, crappy Samsung 20-inch TV that we got in 2007 I want to say uh, here it's running well it's 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 running it's connected to a real PlayStation 2 I'm running some uh, some homebrew stuff I'm gonna launch an elf uh, we're gonna open up a program called PS2 link which is gonna allow us to connect and run a real program and so the reason that I uh, I didn't want to show the make make file before I've actually hooked it up I've got this cool rule called run PS2 we use a program called PS2 client uh, we connect to our, our PlayStation 2, we send a command over to run something on the Emotion Engine, and we give it our, our binary to do it. So let's make run PS2. 
And there it goes. It works. It does it. Okay. And we can actually... So we get logging output from a real PS2, which is amazing. Um, oh. So this works. Okay. This... This works. And you can actually see, I'm not pressing anything, but we have a little bit of joystick drift. So... So, what does this what does this mean? So, 0 is all the way to the left. That's fine. And right is negative 1. So, again, yeah, this is an unsigned number and we're treating it as a signed number. So, what we're going to do, um, we're going to reset PS2. We're going to get rid of this for now. Um, but that's pretty cool. I don't know how well that shows up on stream. Let me know how it looks. Let me know how it looks. I hope that's, that's workable. Um, we're going to go into our wonderful pad abstraction. And this returns an unsigned car. Okay, no, 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 so, 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 this, this is already unsigned. Uh, we just need to treat it better in our main. Cool, so, if we, so this is unsigned. So why? Okay, well, let's, let's print the actual value and then also how we're mapping it, uh, into a DX. So DX, okay. Uh, and then actually, let's just give it a little, like, dead zone, right? Let's say, uh, if dx less than 0 0.2, then we'll let dx be 0. So, so if we're not moving enough, like, we'll have a, a low, a floor for, uh, how little we want to move in a frame. So, if we rebuild this... Okay, we're, we're better. We're better. So this looks... So I'm holding the analog stick all the way to the left, and we're printing out negative one. That's good. When I'm letting it go to zero, it looks like it's going to zero. And when I push it all the way to the right, we're going to one. So this looks like what we want it to do. So something else is going weird uh, in our pipeline. And so, I, this is a really interesting story, because you can actually see we do have stick drift. So this is completely neutral right now, and it appears like, yeah, like 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03 even? But by the time we get to... I can push this all the way to... Probably like 0.4 or 0.5 even, before I really start to notice any kind of, uh, any kind of movement. Okay. So that's really exciting. That means that our joystick handling works and makes sense. And then something else weird is going on here. Why are you just moving all the way to the right all the time? Uh, camera position, CDX, that's fine. 3.6F times DX. Um, again, this should be fine. Our DX is now a floating point number. That's, that's beautiful. So I feel like we've done the right thing here. I don't know what's gone wrong. Uh, reset PS2. I think the initial value for the stick is wrong, right? So let's just like make sure we're wiggling the stick as it loads. Oh, holy. Do you know what's really silly? Uh, when you try and like clamp a value, well not clamp a value, but like have a floor for your DX, but then also just erase negative numbers. Um, oh man, my hair is out of control as well. I'm just looking at my preview here. It, the problem at the moment uh, is that we're in lockdown. So I'm well overdue a haircut and there's nothing I can do about it. I just have to deal. And you just have to deal. Uh, so, 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 what I want is if fabs, is that a function? Do I have to write my own abs? Um, yeah, okay. Uh, incomplete. I need to include math.h and that should be fine because we're using math in other places. Uh, so, include math.h. Um, it's good to know that I have some vague knowledge of, uh, of real... <laughs> of real C library functions. So, uh, oh, hold on. Make reset PS2. There we go. We're gonna run this again. Um... Okay, hold on. I lost it. I lost it. I stopped paying attention for, like, one second. I think the problem, yeah, like I said, like, when we, uh, start up, our, our stick is in a weird state. So if I wiggle the stick at the start, it's fine. And here we go, here we go. I'm just kind of watching the preview to make sure this is coming out okay. 
Um, but I think I think this counts as hardware verification, right? Like we can see, I can move the stick, I can move it slowly, the cube moves slowly. I can move it quickly, the cube moves quickly. Uh, you can't quite see the whole frame, but this is this is pretty exciting. This is pretty exciting. Okay, okay, beautiful. We have joysticks, we have joysticks. Now let's do this for the z-axis as well. Uh, and this, and I mean z-axis, where we're doing dy, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll go up and down, up and down is less important to me than x and z, than actually kind of navigating in a, in a 2D, a meaningful 2D plane, I guess. Um, you know, imagine Doom. So, let's do this, let's do the same thing for dz, joy, axis, value, axis, do I call it axis up x, uh, pad.h, axis, axis left y, sorry. Perfect. Minus 128 divided by 128.0f. If fabs. So if we're not above our movement floor, dz equals zero. Uh, and now. Oh no, sorry, we're going to keep our dy. I think this is going to be a really fast movement on the z axis. Let's. let's Let's just say we're going to move, um, actually we want to move our, okay, we're, we're still moving the instance for now. This is, this is going to be okay. This is going to be okay. We're going to get through this. Um, unused, uh, one second. That was weird. I thought, uh, I thought I heard something. Must have been a ghost. We do actually have doors in this uh, apartment that love to open and close on their own. It's very alarming. Um, okay, 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 okay. I lost my train of thought. Um, we're gonna... We're gonna reset PS2. And we're gonna run PS2. And now we should be able to move around a little bit better. A little bit more. Um, shit, I forgot, I forgot. Okay. So this is a bit of an issue, right? Uh, th there's something, because when I'm starting this up, um, reset PS2, hello? Oh no. Okay, I think that's a reset. I think that's that's hardware reset number one. <laughs> oh boy. I called, I called this stream FPS camera. Maybe I should have called it hardware verification. That may have been more exciting. Uh, holy moly, this is cool. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying it. That is um, a great demonstration of what not to do to your PS2 hardware. PS2s do not like that, apparently. Uh, I'm imagining at this point the program has crashed. It's not responding to my reset command, so I'm going to have to lean over and hit the button. The goal, by the way, is eventually to get my PS2 hooked up to uh, a capture card, you know, have like HDMI output from it, get it actually part of the stream rather than having a janky TV next to me, a janky, uh, a janky, how old is it? 20, uh, a tw a janky 14 year old TV. 14 year old? No, wait, how do I do maths? Yeah, 14 year old TV, it's crazy. Uh, <laughs> there are, there are kids in high school younger than this TV. Um, okay, so. And this is a little bit of a problem, isn't it? That if we don't wiggle our stick around uh, as as we start the program, and and that is a real choice tone of phrase, um, that that bad things will happen. Uh, thank you so much, Perry Power, for the follow. I appreciate it. Always good to to see people get in, and get excited. Um, it's sad that more people don't do PlayStation Two homebrew. You know, I I understand why because it's a real nightmare system to work with. But I'm glad to be able to share this weird little passion of mine uh, with people out there. And I, it's always awesome to see people come in and enjoy it. I, I appreciate it so much. Uh, so, we're going to run this again. As we run, we're going to hit the analog button and waggle the stick around, and that is going to work. So now we have we have depth movement as well as lateral movement. Um, and we're not normalizing it, so it's quicker to go on diagonals and all those other usual fun quirks. Actually, it probably isn't, right? Because the geometry of the stick should stop it, uh, should, should stop you having, like, the square root of two uh, maths. Anyway, that's not that important. That's not that important. Um... Oh man, I just moving a cube around on the screen should not be this fun, but when you've done this much work to get there, oh, it, it is it is so exciting. Okay. Mad Supervillain, thank you so much uh, for stopping by. It's always great to see you. And yeah, this is real real PlayStation 2, real action. Um, man, 
while I've got this set up, I should I should stream some Socom three. Okay, so it's time to it's time to draw some pictures because we're going to do some three D maths. Uh, let's get a new canvas up. Oh, I know I I don't have my mouse mat because this TV takes up too much room, so I don't have a mouse. So I'm going to be drawing with a trackball, which is always really great. Um, any other trackball users out there? Give me a shout out. I, I feel your pain. Um, okay, so I'm going to draw this as best as I can with my trackball right now. Played 1v1 Sokum too. Wow. Uh, was that like against someone, someone local or just some random Brazilian 12 year old? Uh, I say Brazilian because the PlayStation 2 seems to have a fairly big scene in South America still. Um, the game has aged. Yeah, it, it always... I, I can imagine it would be, like, ridiculously clunky. Uh, okay, so, we have a camera in the world, right? A camera's looking out at a cube. And this cube is gonna... It's currently not positioned at 0, 0, 0. We're gonna move it so that it's always fixed at 0, 0, 0. Uh, it would be cool to see people, yeah. There are actually some people streaming PlayStation 2 games at the moment. There's a Discord... Um, people play, like, Metal Gear Solid 3, people, there's a bit of a Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal and Ratchet and Clank deadlocked resurgence at the moment. Um, there, there's stuff. Mad Supervillain, does the X-Link Kai stuff work with an actual hardware PlayStation 2, or is it only emulator? Uh, the, the private fake LAN. Um, anyway, so we have our camera, right? And we've built a look-at matrix that always looks at 0, 0, 0. Um, so, the... The problem is, we, as we move our camera around, we're still going to be looking at the same point. So what we want is to be able to move our camera, say, over here. Um, and you will, again, have to excuse my horrible squiggly lines. And we want, you know, if we're looking this way, the camera looks over here. We want to move the camera over here and look over this way uh, and have our look at be over here. So what we really want, rather than our look at point being fixed to zero, 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 we want... Uh, a vector that represents the forward direction of the camera. Uh, and we're also going to use this to calculate our movement eventually. But for now, we're just going to uh, make it so that we can look in different directions. So we're going to move and look completely independently, um, which which will be fine. Uh, so I think the idea should be, uh, because at the moment, and I will just quickly double check this, but I think Z negative is forward. Uh, yeah, so currently... Like this is this is z negative. So our, our uh, z negative. So our forward vector is zero, zero, negative one, and so we can can kind of take this as our base forward vector. And then if we say rotate the camera by you know five radians, uh, and that will be in this direction, we can then rotate this vector around the y axis, uh, and because it's a unit vector, we'll get a unit vector, you know, just rotated. Uh, which should give us the new point that we want to look at, okay? So if we just think about rotation, like like we've got our cube here, right? If we just think about rotating this way and this way, all we need to do is rotate around the y-axis. And there is a formula for this. I actually wrote it down. I wrote it down with a pen and paper, like an absolute scrub. Uh, but we're going to add to our math library to do arbitrary vector rotations. I, I don't think I support that yet, and I don't think... We'll double-check that PS2 SDK doesn't support it out the gate. Um, PlayStation 2 SDK. Let's grab the math library. Uh, yeah, all we can do is rotate matrices. Um... It just supports PCSX2, that's unfortunate. Not interested in y-axis. I'm gonna start with Doom-like. Yeah, Doom is a good a good way to think about it. Um, I think once you're doing that, it's easy to add in kind of like up and down rotation as well. Um, but just to get movement sorted, I think approaching it like you're doing a Doom clone is, is a good way to get started. Um, because like the, the up and down... Uh, aiming isn't going to actually affect our movement, right? That's going to be completely independent. We can just slap it on top later. Um, we need to write our own function for rotating a vector. And that's actually not that hard. Like I said, I wrote the, the formula down in my in my pen and paper book. Um, rotation around the y-axis. Cool. So, uh, void 
let's say vector rotate y. This is probably not the best name, but we'll we'll deal for now. Uh, vector, and we're gonna rotate by some some degrees in radians, uh, and we're gonna get out zero is gonna be uh, x. The so our x coordinate is gonna be the x coordinate times cos of theta, and theta is going to be, is theta r? We're rotating by this many, and then, and then, so I guess what I'm thinking of is what this looks like when you compose rotations, right? So if I'm saying cos of, of r, where r is how many ro radians we're rotating, what happens if I, because we're going to store our camera rotation as one number. This will, okay, this will be fine for our use case for now. I don't know if this will be fine for every use case, but um, it will be fine for now. So then we're going to take, sorry, I'm, uh, I'm losing my mind here. The, the Z component multiplied by sine of R. Uh, and let's bracket this just, just so I can like sleep at night. Um, you know, the order of operations says that this is unnecessary, but it's just good to do. Uh, our Y stays the same and then our Z is going to be... Uh, x times, so it's going to be negative 1 times out times sine of r, and then it's going to be positive z times cos of r. Perfect. And then, yeah, our y stays the same. Uh, Mad Supervillain, you've been playing a lot of first-person PlayStation 1 games lately. Oof, L1 and R1 to strafe, uh, L2 and R2 to look up and down. Uh, that sounds like first-person Croc and the Legend of the Gubbos. <laughs> um, yeah, no, like, they just hadn't worked it out back then, right? It, games before Halo and games after Halo. Um, I actually, when did, um, what year did Halo come out, uh, in relation to, like, the, the PlayStation 2 Quake 3 port? I'm actually gonna Google this real quick. Quake 3. Because the Quake 3 PS2 port plays surprisingly well. It came out in March 26, 2001, uh... Yeah. Uh, it came out... It came out after. So what was the first game that really nailed, like, twin-stick shooting? Because cause it looks like Quake 3 on the PlayStation 2 beat Halo to the punch. And it plays... Like, it, it feels like crap, right? Like, you're coming from, you know, one of the best-feeling uh, PC FPS games ever onto a console. It's, it's going to feel kind of awful. But it's surprisingly good. Okay, anyway. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. Um, we can rotate a vector around the y-axis now. So... If we come into our draw, actually we need to um, check out our header here because we store a camera target. Um, so we're going to have this awkward midpoint for now where I'm just going to like add a float. Eventually I think we might actually just get rid of camera target. Um, or maybe keep it as like a, a mid thing, like a, a kind of midway step that we can use in other calculations like movement. Um, let's say camera rotate y. We're just going to store one dumb number for this. And then when we uh, calculate all of our stuff here, rather than just using this camera target point, we're actually going to dynamically calculate one. So let's go vector uh, 0. Actually, I think we can use an initializer list for this. 0, 0, negative 1. Uh, the, the third... The W component for this doesn't matter. We're using 40 vectors everywhere. It's a little bit wasteful, but um, it just makes our APIs a little bit cleaner. Uh, we could actually just define this actually as float 3, and all of our code would still work. But we're going to use the same type because I like it. Um, it looks a little bit cleaner. It's a little bit more expressive. Uh, in C, the least expressive, <laughs> like, or the, tool that, the language that gives you very few tools to be expressive. Um, so we want to vector rotate y cam forward, and we're going to rotate this by d camera rotate y. Uh, and then we also actually need to add this to our math header. Our header and source file have different names because we can't. Well, I, I don't want to use math.h because that's already taken. Uh, and let's. Well, let's run this and make sure that I haven't broken anything uh, just by adding it. 
we should be good. Uh, this does also mean... Oh, well, hold on. Okay, so for one thing, I think if we leave this running too long, we lose the ability to reset. Which is a little bit unfortunate. I'm gonna have to hit the button again. Hardware restart number two. Um, okay, well, let's, let's just run it in PCSX2 for now, uh, but where'd our cube go? Oh yeah, of course, of course, he's, he's gone. I, now that we're doing this with a joystick, it's like we've lost the ability to actually test in PCSX2, which is, which is not great. It's very unfortunate. That was our fast iteration, uh, test option. Because, like, as cool as it is doing things on real hardware, I don't want to run on real hardware 100% of the time. I want to be able to do both. There has to be some, like, Padman functionality I'm missing here um, to, to set the mode of the controller. Because, like, you know when you boot a PlayStation 2 game, right? The, uh, the analog button. Okay, well, it's on here, but, like, it turns on. But when I run my game, it's off. And it stays off until I turn it on. So... There's something going wrong. Uh, oh, there's something extra that I have to do that I just don't know about yet. Um, so if we go into main.c, oh no, hold on, we're gonna run it. We're gonna run PS2. And I, I did it again, I did it again. Okay, nothing broke. And of course nothing broke because we're not actually using the new thing we're calculating. Uh, if we go into draw.c, uh, we want to camera pause. Let's just write a really quick and dirty vector add. Um, I think, hold on, add. Yeah, they don't have a vector add, which is really odd because it is actually one. Um, like the it's it's. It should only be one assembly instruction in, in V0 macro mode, but I don't know if it's actually worth using macro mode for that because you have to upload the vector, then run one instruction, then download it. Maybe it really makes sense for bigger workloads. Um, it's weird considering the buttons in there for PS1 backwards compatibility reasons. I actually think it makes sense that the default uh, when a program loads is it's off if it's there for backwards compatibility reasons because PlayStation 1 games don't know to set analog mode, right? Like old PS1 games have no concept of analog mode. It's up to newer, uh, it, like to maintain backwards compa compatibility, it is up to newer programs to set the mode. Um, and also you can plug things into the controller ports that aren't controllers. So I, I don't know how having like a default signal that gets sent to every device would play with that protocol. Um, it's a really, really, really dead simple protocol, right? Like there's nine pins uh, in the PS2 controller connection. I think three or four of them are used for the actual standard controller. I don't know if like the Guitar Hero controllers and stuff use more. I imagine they don't. Uh, it's a it's a super simple protocol. Like the data only travels on one of the wires and then the rest of the timing, I think. Um, okay, so camera pause zero, e uh, camera target zero equals camera pause zero plus cam forward zero. And then we're going to use the magic of Vim, 0, 1, G, uh, 0, 2, G, and actually we can ignore the third component. Perfect. Oh, I love, I love when I get to use a nice find and replace in Vim. So this looks good. Um, weirdly, this does not like resetting since I added, since I did something. I don't know what I changed. Um, Okay, I need to work out how to set this joystick mode so I can test in um in PS2 uh, PCSX2 again because this is gonna drive me absolutely nuts. Um, by I th hold on, I'm gonna grep for Padman RP. So the way this actually works as well, uh, it's using RPCs into a different processor, so it's a little bit weird. Um, actually, maybe maybe if I just look at the includes. I'll get something. Um, pad set. Oh wow, we can we can change rumble settings. Oh, I, I I forgot I can actually like vibrate these controllers. I'm gonna have to play with that at some point. Um, add info. Cool. Uh, get actuated status. 
don't know if these need to be exported. I love it. Uh, pressure sensitive mode off. I didn't know you could turn that off. That's really cool. Um, the PlayStation 2 has pressure sensitive buttons as well, by the way. So that's like a really fun quirk. Um, okay, here we go. Pad set main mode. Mode one. Uh, and we can lock it so the user can't change it. Nice. Okay, so if we go into... Actually, we can go into pad.c. We have a pad in it. Uh, pad port open. Let's do this. Pad info mode. We're going to say 00. zero uh, oh, sorry, hold on. Pad set main mode. I'm reading the wrong comment. Um, pad. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, there, there's some other stuff going on here. There's some other stuff going on here. Um, we should actually check to see we have a DualShock controller. That's something for our uh, to-do. But for now, we're just going to like assume and, and set it, send it some dumb commands. So mode one, lock three. All right. Uh, let's, let's do this on hardware first and just see what happens. Uh, and then we'll go back to PCSX2. That's cool. I'm glad that that's just like one nice simple function though. I, what would actually be interesting as well, pad info, uh, pad set main mode. So if we just find, yeah, okay. Um, so it, ju it just sets up a buffer and, and makes an RPC into a program running on the IO processor. Of course, of course. There's nothing fancy going on here. I, I would be really interested to see how this is implemented, how I think it's Padman is implemented on the IRC side. Uh, the IOP side, sorry. Okay, so make run PS2. Oh, hold on. That didn't do what I wanted. Um, I just like got my big dumb finger over and hit the button myself. And I can't reset anymore. I've, I've broken something. Oh, it's because I'm not logging every frame. I need to log more things if I want this to accept reset commands. Because again, this this like does really weird things. Because the PlayStation 2 is so decentralized, this kind of like, um, you know, networked reset command is a little bit iffy. I'm going to swap back to PCSX2. Oh, no need for a BRI back screen this time. We are just in here. All right, perfect. And we're back with it. We can make run. Um, well, it looks like it does, um, it looks like it doesn't detect my joystick, or the, the analog stick, but it looks like it does put it into a different mode. So let's do that again. And yeah, we stay with analog on. But unfortunately, for one thing, our camera's looking at a... Our camera's doing something weird. Hmm. Hmm. Um... So what... What has gone... It's fine with the, um... The D-pad, but it just really doesn't like... The analog stick. It's got to be this controller, right? Like, it's got to be... Okay, hold on. Here's another thought, right? Um, if I jump in... If I go into... What am I... Where's my data? Data. Share. PS2 SMB. Let's just, like, load Ratchet and Clank, right? You, you got to see my choice selection of, uh, of games there. 
<laughs> that's a that's a small selection. Um, look, let's let's just load a game that is known to work, um, and see how it plays with an analog stick. See how it plays with this controller in general. Man, it was actually really stressful. Uh, yeah, yeah, just I don't need to save. That's fine. Um, oh god, I've got to skip thirty-eight cutscenes. This was a really bad game to pick. I'm just gonna mash the start button. Um, but yeah, no, that was really stressful. While I had that TV out, I didn't have my my stream monitor uh, monitor plugged in. Right, I couldn't see my preview or anything. Um, okay, and analog stick works. So it's me. This this is a me problem. Uh, also, I think I'm like software rendering here, so my my CPU fan is is <laughs> is uh, kicking off. Um, for people who haven't seen it before, by the way, I've run a few PlayStation Two games uh, in emulator before, and you can uh, with various logging sources, you can see all the all the stuff that gets logged. So like this, um, you know, standard PlayStation Two messages, setting up the DVD manager, rebooting the IOP kernel. Um, setting up some buffers for various RPC stuff, I guess, setting up the sound library, uh, IOP threads for, for sound stuff and, and streaming data. It's really cool. It's really cool to, to peek behind the curtain, even just a little bit of how some of these games work. Um, so why do you hate me? Uh, let's go back into main and just add in our dumb print again for, for DX and DZ. Um, F, F, D, X, D, Z. Uh, we're gonna make it over here. We're gonna run it over here. And it really just does not accept any input from my joystick. All right, well, look, they, I, I've wasted enough time on this. I'm gonna swap it back, unfortunately. Um, to to just using the d-pad oh that's really annoying um and look don't don't do this don't use um defines to block out big chunks of code like this uh don't use macro sorry to, to or the preprocessor to block out big chunks of code like this but also really great way to just get some results very quickly uh and and to keep this kind of stuff around you know, it's not like we have a version control system for this. We, we got to do it the hard way, um, or the easy way. Uh, what are we doing? Button held d-pad right minus button held d-pad left. And then dz is going to be d-pad down minus d-pad up. Perfect. Um, and now we don't actually move on Y anymore. We can actually just like, we don't even have a DY. So yeah, let's just get rid of that all together. Um, and then the movement of the camera position. So we'll rebuild this. We're gonna change over. Oops, I forgot to, <laughs> that else just goes on forever. Um, okay, so. We're gonna swap over in a second from moving the mesh to moving our camera. Nice. Uh, our left and right are backwards. And also we've got this very long boy again. I don't know why we've gone back to being very long. Uh, we kind of, we fixed this. And now we've unfixed it. Uh, cool. So if we go into main, now we're going to swap. Where we move the instance, we're going to move the camera instead. Pause. Plus equals camera pause and let's see if we can now actually move the camera around this cube without it looking really messed up um, no the answer is no we cannot <laughs> oh that went that went so much worse than I anticipated um, that went so much worse than I anticipated just instantly instantly messed up I love it I love it um, Okay, well, if we look at draw.c, okay. I think we've got to 
bring back the logs. I think we got to. <laughs> um, let's build this. Oh, there's no, no weird warnings here. We've got these usual warnings from Draw. I really should do something about them. Um, like this is like this is just so annoying, right? Um, expected float, but gave it like why do you why does it actually care about this? Like surely our compiler, I mean this is C, right? We we can do all kinds of ridiculous bit hacking. Why does why does it care? This of type float, because this is a type. This is just saying. This this is just ex, or is this? Oh, it's expecting a list of vectors. Is it? I don't know. Like. This is a weird function signature. What a weird function signature. Um, anyway, as I was saying, run. Uh, and this spamming the the uh, spamming everything. Okay. I I I can't make any use of that. <laughs> that was too much information. Uh, do we have our good friend the dumb static variable? We do not. Uh, equals zero. So we're just going to have a, a really horrible, um, <laughs> a really horrible static counter. And when every like hundred frames, uh, CC mod a hundred is zero, then we're going to log this stuff out. Otherwise, it's just too much to uh, to follow. And then we also need to uh, increment CC and. You know, I'm playing kind of fast and loose with like frame versus one mesh transform. We're only drawing one mesh, so so this is going to be fine. We can treat it like a frame. Uh, let's jump across. Beautiful. So we get a little bit more, a little bit better information. So moving uh, in and out works. That's cool. But left and right, oh no, oh no, that is not okay. Um, so let's look at our first matrix. Okay. Um, that's a matrix. That's what we want to see. So this is our view matrix. This is our model matrix. This is the result of multiplying them together. Uh, and we're going to see a few of those. And then if we come down to say the last one, this looks okay. This looks okay. That's the, that's the problem. Um, these matrices, matrix, oh no, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not okay. Um, what is that component? Where does that come from? This is, this is, wait, are we, hold on, is this some um, row matrix or uh, column matrix? This is after we've transposed everything. So, but B is I times four. So we're printing them out as row matrix. Um, okay, so. This is fine. Nothing funky in the... I don't even know. This is what X gets multiplied by W by. But the second we translate a little bit, this goes to the freaking moon. This gets so big. Why is this such a big value? Okay, so... Um, thought number one is we're moving the camera too much. Okay? You know, we, we love this camera too much and we're just we're just going absolutely ham so let's let's slow this down a little bit um let's slow this down a lot even okay there we go there we go now we're getting stanky okay so so z movement fine totally fine but the second but i don't and this is going to be this so there's a cube and there is there is not a cube this has ceased to be a cube um Oh no, oh no, uh, and again, it's going to be funky values here, surely, right? Surely this is the problem. So, I don't know what would put something here, right? This is, is this translation? I thought they were, this is our translation. This is like rotation stuff. So, as we move the camera left and right, our rotation doesn't change, right? We're not, we're never setting this, this rotation. Okay, here's another thought. Here's another thought. 
Um, here is... Just a, out of almost desperation at this point. Um, let's go in here. Where we're doing this calculation, let's just, like, pretend this doesn't exist for now. And uh, set this to D camera pause 2 minus 1, right? So we're just looking towards negative Z. Nothing fancy is happening here. Just to make sure there's nothing weird uh, in our rotate logic. Aha! Now we have progress. Um, but... I don't know if this is like, I don't know if this is right. I don't know if we move, like the cube should move, right? It shouldn't stay in the same position, just get more squished. We're moving away from zero, zero. And yet our focus is still at zero, zero. That's not good. That's not okay. Um, there is also one thing I want to try to see if I can fix this weird color disco. And that should be to divide this by pause three. I think that should at least fix some of this. Um, I thought I was out. I thought I'd beaten the 3D maths. I thought I would. I thought I was past this, but alas, I'm not. Um, okay, this looks a little bit better as far as like being a weird vertex colored disco. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So at a certain point, we move so far that these values stop making sense. So that's okay. Um, and also, I'm guessing when I look at this, we're going to see... Okay, well, nothing weird happening here, which is good. This looks like a more... Like, this is this is just some normal rotation value. That's fine. Um, I feel like we should just be seeing translation, though. Because we're not... Ro like, our camera should be axis aligned, right? Right? Doesn't that make sense? <laughs> oh, man. Um, hmm. What does this number mean? This is like a shearing number. This is translation. This is like a shearing number. Yeah, so our x gets multiplied by our depth according to this number. Or our x gets... Like, this is the the component of our x that takes on the z-iness, the z-flavor. Um, so, like, if our vertex is like 1, 0, 1, then we, you just add these two together. And this does have vertices that are at 1, 0, 1. Um, hmm. Hmm. That's a real head scratcher. It's a real head scratcher. Um, why doesn't this move when we move our camera? Are we still... No, but we're moving... Man, that's so annoying. Um, it's almost like something isn't being updated properly, but we're updating our camera target. And we draw according to our camera target. And then we move a camera position. It's just so odd. It's just so odd to me. Um, and this starts like nice and far away from zero, zero, zero as well. So what if we bring it a little bit closer? What if we actually bring it back to zero, zero, zero? Um, what do we get then? What do we get then? Well, our camera is like right on top of it then, right? That's not good. Oh, no, it's a little bit better. We're very close. It looks very long. Damn. Oh, the, the, okay, so actually, the problem. Okay, the problem. I can see it now that we're at this angle, right? The problem is that a vertex at 0, 0, 0 only ever goes to 0, 0, 0. Okay, so they're never moving away from the origin, right? Um, and our matrix... So if you imagine multiplying 0, 0, 0 by this matrix... But it's 0, 0, 0, 1. So it should always be offset by at least this, right? Something at the origin should be offset by, you know, a, a decent chunk of the screen. And this chunk should increase as we move our camera. And that looks like it's exactly what's happened. Or it's changed as we've moved our camera back and forward, right? So... Although I guess... Yeah. So, so why is an x-coordinate 
at the origin or at negative one, negative one, negative one. It's the top or one, one, one. It's the top left corner of the cube, which is negative one, negative one, negative one. So why is negative one, negative one, negative one just going to basically zero? Right? And that's why we get the weird perspective as well, because everything's trying to go back to zero, basically. But that doesn't look like it's what this matrix does. If you multiply negative one, negative one, negative one, one, well, what do you get? What do you get? You would get minus, so you would get uh, minus 155 plus 233. So you would get a hundred and uh, minus 150, a hundred. If you get 50, you'd get like 100, right? And then you would get negative 250. I don't know, man. I think I'm going to call it there because I'm back to uh, staring into the void with this 3D math. So I might have to do some work on this off camera, work out what's going on, multiply some of this out by hand, do some magic. Um, but today we hardware verified, and that is a huge step. That is a huge step forward. Uh, and it was a very exciting step to, to share with you all. So not the most exciting or productive stream today, but we're making progress. We're moving towards this like first person camera. It's gonna look excellent once we get it, once we get it popping. Uh, so I'm Tom, thank you very much for tuning in. We will be back uh, hopefully a little bit more regularly from this week. I will uh, get a bit of a schedule sorted because I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I'm enjoying being able to sit down and just work on a weird project. And we may, we may do some other stuff as well, other than just PlayStation 2 dev. I've got some other cool uh, thoughts about things I can work on. So, like I said, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in in the future for more exciting PlayStation 2 homebrew content, as well as other programming. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know if you think there are ways this show can be improved. Uh, I don't have many live viewers, so I imagine this is mostly going to be people on YouTube. Comments are always welcome. Any feedback is always welcome. Uh, so thank you so much for stopping by. I'll catch you next time.